With a few changes, this is the way Highland Park Village has looked the past 40 years. It was the first shopping center to be built off major streets with parking provided inside the center. Perhaps mostly because of its location in affluent Highland Park, the village has survived competition from newer and much larger shopping centers. Now it is mostly a collection of small specialty shops. The new owner, real estate developer Henry S. Miller, lives close by. He says he's aware Park City's residents might be skeptical about any drastic changes in a place some consider their private preserve. The changes that we will make, uh, I think, will be welcomed by the people here because uh, it won't be a change in uh, the, the basic appearance, but more in the details. And Highland Park Village has plenty going for it already, according to architect Roger Burson. He's working up some of the changes Miller wants. But Burson says he won't touch the Spanish-style architecture and the detail work that's already there, details unique to this part of the country. Mostly, Burson wants to dress the old place up. And as tenants' leases come up for renewal, they'll probably be asked to help pay to give the village a new face. Bruce Halford, Channel 8 News.